So let's start with articles that look at diagnosis. And the first thing we have to think about are measures of likelihood. And there are two ways to measure this, probability and odds. Probability is like when you say there's a 30% chance of rain today, or you got a 75% chance of uh, winning the lottery. Uh, and odds is used more often in gambling, like horse racing, uh, where you can say the the odds of winning are 35 to 1. Or maybe you're betting on a long shot horse and the odds are like 150 to 1. So probability is measured in percent. And the way it's calculated is you, you calculate all the possible out, you calculate the outcome you want over all possible outcomes. Now odds is a little bit different. You have one outcome that you want in the numerator, but the denominator now has all other possible outcomes except for the one that you're looking for. So this is probably best uh, illustrated by a couple of examples. So first let's talk about a coin flip. So now we want to calculate the probability that this coin that is flipped is going to land heads. So the one outcome we're looking for is heads, and there's only one way it can be heads. And then the all possible outcomes is you could either have heads or you could have tails. So 1 over 1 plus 1 is 1 half or 50 percent. So the probability of getting heads is 50 percent. Now what about the odds of getting heads? Again there's only one way of getting heads and the only other option is tails. So 1 over 1 equals 1. Or we may also say that the odds of getting uh, heads on a coin flip is one to one. So uh, when you have equal likelihood of something, it's 50% probability and one to one odds. Now you might th wonder, why do we even use odds? It's not very intuitive. It has some mathematical properties that make it better later. But, but you're right, I find it difficult to think in odds too. Let's try a different example. Let's talk about rolling uh, a die. So what's the probability of getting a 3 on this roll of the die? So again, in the numerator, we're going to have one outcome. So how many ways is there getting 3 on there? Well, there's only one. And how many possible options are there? Six. There's six sides of a dice or of a die. And that works out to about 17%. Now let's talk about the odds of getting a 3. Again, there's only one way to do that. And how many alternatives are there? There's five. There is one, two, four, five, and six. And so the odds are five to one. Or expressed as a decimal, it's point two. Now, is it possible to convert from one to the other? Of course. And here are the formulas to do so. So let's actually try this. So let's take this... Uh, um, uh, probability of 17 and see what happens if we take 17 what's well, actually 0.17 over 1 minus 0 0.17 and that equals uh, about 0 0.204 but uh, that 17 was actually rounding so that's why we got this little number here that's not exactly right. Let's try it with the odds. So the odds we said was 0.2, so if we go 0.2 over 1 plus 0.2, we get our 17% again. You know, this was the actual number, 0 0.166666. All right, so this is how we measure likelihood.